Welcome to the Common Health Topics series by AVN Pharma Education. This series is designed to help healthcare professionals improve their medical English skills by exploring key health conditions. Let's learn together and enhance your medical communication skills. In today's episode, we'll be discussing tinnitus. We'll explore its causes, symptoms, treatment options, and patient advice to help you effectively communicate with patients about this condition. Description Tinnitus is the perception of noise or ringing in the ears when there is no external sound. The noise may be buzzing, whistling, roaring, or hissing, and can occur in one or both ears, either continuously or intermittently. Tinnitus is not a disease, but a symptom of an underlying issue, such as age-related hearing loss, exposure to loud noise, or circulatory disorders. In some cases, tinnitus is temporary, but it can also be chronic. Main Symptoms Noise in the Ears Patients may hear constant ringing or buzzing in their ears, even in quiet environments. Varying Sound Intensity the tinnitus sound may vary in intensity from mild to severe and can disrupt daily activities. Ear discomfort. In some cases, tinnitus may be accompanied by a sensation of pain or discomfort in the ear. Hearing loss. Tinnitus is often associated with hearing loss, especially after exposure to loud noise or ear trauma. Dizziness or balance issues. Some patients may experience dizziness or balance problems alongside tinnitus. Causes and risk factors Age-related hearing loss. As people age, their hearing ability gradually declines, leading to damage of the inner ear hair cells, which can cause tinnitus. Exposure to loud noise Working in noisy environments or listening to loud sounds for extended periods can damage the inner ear and result in tinnitus. Earwax buildup. Excessive earwax can block the ear canal and create pressure, leading to tinnitus. Head or neck injuries. Trauma to the head or neck can affect the auditory nerves, causing tinnitus. Circulatory problems. Conditions like high blood pressure or atherosclerosis can cause irregular blood flow, leading to noises in the ear. Medications Certain medications, such as antibiotics, diuretics, or antidepressants, can cause or worsen tinnitus. Treatment Options Treating the underlying cause If tinnitus is caused by a treatable condition, such as earwax blockage or circulatory problems, addressing the root cause may alleviate symptoms. Hearing aids. If tinnitus is associated with hearing loss, using hearing aids can improve hearing and reduce the perception of tinnitus. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. CBT is a psychological therapy that helps patients manage tinnitus and reduce the distress or anxiety associated with the condition. Sound therapy devices. Devices that produce soothing sounds, such as rain or wind noises, can help mask tinnitus and make it easier for patients to sleep. Medications. In some cases, doctors may prescribe sedatives, antidepressants, or antihistamines to relieve tinnitus symptoms and help patients feel more comfortable. Patient advice. Avoid loud noise. Wear earplugs or noise-canceling headphones when exposed to loud sounds to protect your ears and prevent further damage. Manage stress. Stress can worsen tinnitus, so practicing stress-reducing activities such as yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises can help. Regular Health Check Uvas Visit your doctor regularly to monitor and treat underlying conditions such as high blood pressure, circulatory disorders, or ear problems. Limit the use of tinnitus-inducing medications. If medications are causing tinnitus, consult your doctor about adjusting the dosage or switching to a different drug. Keep ears clean. Maintain proper ear hygiene to prevent earwax buildup, but avoid using sharp objects to clean the ears as this can damage the inner ear. 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to catch our next topic in the Common Health Topics series. See you soon. AVN Pharma Education